Hello and welcome to Inside Eve. This is a very, very exciting episode. You know, Christmas is in the air. Mm -hmm. So everybody's super excited. I'm excited too. My name is Aderi Sola and I never host this show alone. I always have two gorgeous, pretty hot yeah. ladies here with me on the show. <gasps> I have to take a break. <laughs> like, all right, so... Hope. I have to, what'd you say? Are we that hot? <laughs> You're hot now, babe, believe in yourself. Anyway, I'm hosting the show with my two co-hosts, as usual, Fome mm. and Boo Boo. Hello. Hello, Derry. How y'all doing? We're good. We're good. We're good. I can see. We're You're great. looking, like, bright and beautiful. I know. Well, well, it's bright. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just <screwed> <laughs> All right, welcome on the show. This is Inside Eve, a woman's world. We talk about women from start to finish. Okay, we can never finish women talk, right? Oh, never. <laughs> but then we try to break it down, break it up, break it in, out, any way we can. And we also love to hear from you on the show. How was your weekend? Ah, restful. I wish. Mine was, well, I went to the beach yesterday. Yay, oh, yay. Um, it was refreshing. It was good to have. I feel in the sand, in the water. Yeah, nice. it was good. It was good. I can imagine it's like mm. Christmas season. How many days to Christmas? Boo, we've been doing like some countdown Three days on to Christmas. To Christmas. Already. Yay! Already. I, I really love the festive season. I like all the eating. Okay, let me not start with food. You like, I like food, Jamie. Uh, that's no secret. That's no secret anymore. I like food. Given. But then I like all the lights. I like and just the ambience, the exactly. atmosphere. Like when you come out, it seems like everybody's out. You know, everybody wants to have fun. Everybody's shopping. Mm -hmm. Like it's, oh, it's guys, really nice. so Apart from the traffic part, I was going to say that. I absolutely hate the traffic. It's terrible. Like I went to Shoprite on. Oh no. Can just see Imol on on Friday? No, he didn't. No, I shouldn't have. Like I really then, shouldn't have. It moving around Lagos now, it's. An so absolute bad, no, yeah. no. It's an absolute yeah, no, no. But then sometimes what you're going to do is like on the top of your mind and you're like, anyway, for the sake yeah. of whatever it is I'm going to do, for the sake of the beach, for the sake yeah. of like whatever, whatever is, the dance. The, I had a very busy weekend. I, I, I think well, I went outside Lagos. I thought it was just outside, outside Magboro or something like West really far. Up. Uh, just before redemption camp and then we got there and i thought okay fine okay. we are here so we are almost no, and then far. we had to go inside oh okay that's the far part oh okay. Lord. yeah yeah as in i was just thinking for the love of christmas <laughs> for the love of it, the person i'm going to see you know oh. and then um my brother and i had like a hangout it was it was just like eating it yes and i was on someone's bridal train too oh, wow that's exciting. Yeah. That's like good. i feel really old you're I don't know old. what I'm doing on a train. You're not old. No, you're what not am I doing old. on a train? Like, seriously? What are you doing? Were you the flower girl? Go for me. <laughs> no way. No. Flower girl, no. But then I was on the train. I wore the dress. The dress was pretty nice, too. And oh. special shout out to the couple. Look at the yeah. bright. Look on the bright side. You're getting closer to, to, to the white dress. To the, the, the Amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, apparently, weekend was fun, except for somebody that rested. rested. Oh, uh, mine was restful. You, sh you should stop resting. No, this week is Christmas week. You can't afford to sit No, I'm in. going to start. My Christmas is going to start like tomorrow. Like I'm seriously. Going to shop and do all the... Where do you plan to go? For Christmas. You know what? I think I just want to chill with my family. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that's like the best. For yeah. me, I feel Christmas is all about family. Yeah, like, of course. Yeah. That's, of course. that's for me. That's And then all the presents and everything. You know, Santa came early for me <laughs> this time around. I got a very <laughs> lovely gift. Aww. And yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm expecting a kid from both of you. Uh, of course. Why did you Why did you break the surprise? We had it's like not, don't worry. It's not a surprise. Anyway, anyway, speaking <laughs> speaking about um, speaking about um, festive yeah. season and all of that, everybody seems to like rush. Everybody seems to be like rushing, rushing, rushing. December is here. Let's just get married. And it's a, meanwhile, welcome, Boo Boo. Welcome back, yeah. Boo Boo. We really missed you. I know, I know. Well, I missed you. I don't know about Fome. Oh, I miss her. Our viewers also missed you. Everybody anyway. missed you. They asked after you. I missed you, you too. You know, someone called and was like, yeah. there's an imaginary Boo Boo in between you. You know, yeah. like, you know it was, was really... Oh, bless. Thank you, guys. Thank you so it much. It was lonely without you, baby. Oh, I know. Are you trying to say, I no. don't... No, I know you're going to love me. Do not you, fight Barry. over me, please. Okay, I'm we love you too. Sure. <laughs> anyway, I was talking about weddings. You know, everybody's like, there's like a lot of weddings in December. Yeah, I think it's just safe for you to say, oh, I'm getting married next year. And then you're like, uh, when? Uh, August, December. 
you know what? December. You know you can't go after December. After so December, December is like, so I'm getting married 2014. And then everybody just pushes to like December. So there's been a lot of weddings around. Beautiful. Just of to course. put the whole beauty together. Of Christmas and yeah, festivities yeah. and I all think, that. I think another thing apart from weddings is what I've come to understand here is when it gets to the ember period, like December, mm -hmm. a lot of people kind of have this fear of like when they want to travel, mm. accidents and everything. I, I just want to say that, you know, I'm pretty sure there's God is going to protect mm, each course, and every one of, of our viewers and everyone. Yeah, amen. And, Everybody you know, don't traveling. just, don't be afraid. I know there's some, don't be afraid. Just have fun. It's have Christmas. fun, exactly. exactly. Don't, don't, let the, don't let fear deprive you of, of your, your phone. phone. Yeah. yeah. So about weddings, Ibinabo's wedding. Ah, she was like, gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, pretty, right? Beach, hey, wow. As a, she is a princess. That baby is like what evergreen. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. she evergreen. Does. She knows how to take care of herself. She does. Yeah, you know some people say, "Oh, they photoshop the pictures," but I've seen her life. She is pretty. Oh, you seen hot. her? Yes, I've seen her. <laughs> <laughs> Try to contain yourself. I've seen her. Oh, she's a, okay. She's like the president, president of Actors Guild of Nigeria. Second time running, right? Special shout out. I yeah. think so. Special shout out from your upcoming act. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's really not about me, but her wedding was beautiful. beautiful. And the guy is a hunk. Ooh. Uh, uh, somebody's that. husband, boo boo, somebody's husband. <laughs> boo -boo. I, I'm allowed to say you're fine, bro. But he's a bro. hunk, he's a hunk. He is a, a hunk. hunk. He, That's a given. Hunk. Oh, he's a hunk. Anyway, they looked really, really fab together. And I like the fact that a lot of um, artists turn, did some turn up thing for her. I don't, I don't want to speak wrong English right now. <laughs> like, anyway, a lot of people went to Port Harcourt, went to River State, and you know, there was even one of them that, um, like, was it? tweeting or his PM or something, he said, um, the, um, traffic, there's a lot of traffic in Port Harcourt. And I'm like, okay, is that traffic in Port Harcourt yeah, on a regular, regular, or because of Ibina? But I don't know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, apparently a lot of people went out there. Some even helped her cook. cook and all that. And all, as yeah. in like, seriously. Precious, precious is okay. And that's Mama, Mama G. G. And <laughs> Empress. It's been a while, Empress. Empress anyway, in Jama. In Jama, yeah. yeah. They helped her do some cooking and they even took nice. pictures of herself. She, she, of course, it's only natural for her to get, you know, a lot of support mm. from her fellow actors and all yeah. that. It, did you say it's only natural? Hmm. If you're a bad natural. president, and nobody and will she's go. she's a nice person. Yeah. Yeah. She is, yeah. She is, she yeah. Is she was sweet. looking so gorgeous. God, I'm jealous. Like, what? Like, gorgeous put all the beauty on, on her. After how many children <laughs> flat to me? What? Anyway, well, we wish you all the best. We want you to best. join us yeah. on the show. You can call in on 08091 And 08091222286. And on our social media platforms too, Twitter at R2 underscore TV, on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash my R2 TV. You need to be in on this show because we're talking about something that concerns you. Yeah. And concerns me, mm -hmm. concerns all of us. Mm -hmm. Money matters. We'll be back <laughs> after the break. Don't go anywhere. Hey guys, you're welcome to Girls Pod, where we chill, we jest, and we have fun. Meeting <laughs> is becoming a growing trend, and everyone is taking it as a normal thing. Researching queen. I am an African lady, and I am telling you guys that if your guy is not doing something for you, he needs to sit up or you need to leave him. Exactly. Back right. to the apple, please. Thank you. What? Are you serious? Yeah. If a guy cheats on you, come on, break up with him and move on. That means you deserve better. Yeah, the fun part of the house where it all goes down. Game will, game will. What do you have? Makeup. No. Powder. No. Lipstick. cream. Selfie. No. <laughs> Photoshop. Yeah! Oh. Drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, you guys, make yeah, space on, for me on the pod, please. We are back on Inside Eve, A Woman's World. My name is Stella Derry Sola, and this is... Bobo. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we're on the show to make you happy to talk about real-life situations. So today we're talking about something really, really, really real. Really, really, really real. I, I couldn't find a better <laughs> word. Like, <laughs> it's really real. 
allow me. <laughs> anyway, spendthrift culture and the festive season. Mm. It's like normal for us to blow it all up during Christmas. You know, Christmas is here, everybody's happy, the spirits are high, everybody's like up there, you want to buy the trees. I can't imagine walking into Balogu Market right now. I, I don't even go to places like that during Christmas. You know, it's all push and shove and everybody's you buying. Lost. Honestly, you, the you understand? Everybody's buying, spending. There are so many shows out there. There's a lot to do with money. So we need to talk about it because reality hits right after December. January comes and you're like, four weeks, no money. What am I going to do about it? Women, you know, we are the ones that know how to, well, a lot of us know how to keep the purses in the house. So when daddy is in the mood to just take the children out and do everything, we need to remind daddy that January comets, uh, school fees comet, so many other things are coming. So let's talk about it on Inside Eve, the spendthrift culture, especially in this festive season. So ladies, should we spend money? Yes. Should we just forget and well, make I merry? I think you should spend loads and loads of yes. money. Really? Yes, because you, I mean, the thing about Christmas is Christmas is not only about you. Okay. It's about every other person. Yeah, it's about course. your family. It's about your friends, about your colleagues. And then you give out gifts. Because the truth is, you want gifts. So you're going to have to give out gifts. And I, I so you should give because you want? No, no, no. Not, not, nec come on, not necessarily. <laughs> not necessarily. Kidding. But, just kidding, <laughs> but Is that the reason why you, you get it? Because you, you want me to give you this <laughs> one? I'll give you, not give me. I will collect my gift back. Well, you know, I just feel you can spend. Although, I don't understand where you're coming from in regards to being a spendthrift. Being a spendthrift, some people are naturally uh, spendthrifts. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be yeah. because of the because season. It's Christmas. But when it is Christmas, like I said, people want to spend, they want to buy gifts. And yeah. I think it's okay. Just be on the budget. Be on exactly. a very good, on a good budget. budget. That, that's yeah, what I think. What do you yeah. think for me? I think go all out, spend. Ah. <laughs> Have a I ball. I want to be for my friend this season. <gasps> yeah, so we can join the bandwagon. <laughs> you know, come on, guys. It's the end of the year. You've worked so hard all year long. True you know, that. you've you've probably met your goals, especially when you've met your goals. You know, go all out, splurge, spend yeah. on yourself, on your family. Buy people gifts. It's a season of love and giving and all of that. So even at the expense of um, school fees in January. Oh come well, on! No, not not at that expense. Well, here's the plan: <laughs> go all out and spend, and then it's a new year coming up. You're going to make new New Year resolutions. So you get to right. set <laughs> and set higher goals for yourselves to you know earn more. So I'm sure you'll be just fine. Ha, really. <laughs> I don't think I agree. With <laughs> well, you don't have to agree. But, but you, know, you know, the truth is, what you're saying is because you're saying it, it sounds, hey, but that's the reality. That is what people actually do. Yes. Most people don't sit back to say, oh, January is coming. It's almost like December is the end of the world, not just the end of the year. It's like, this is it. Yeah. We are going to spend mm -hmm. all the money. Let's go out. Let's, you know, everybody just... Sometimes I feel like that too. I feel like... Christmas is here. Let me rejoice. I'm happy. Rejoice. Ah, rejoice now. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. Let you know. Throw gone bodies. are the days. Yeah, gone are the days that my mom would buy um, Christmas, Christmas clothes, clothes. And all of that. So I can imagine people that have kids now. You want to do the whole buy uh, those suits on those little children. Please stop fixing we one on those little children's <laughs> clothes. I, I just hair. It's ridiculous. Like seriously, no, that's people going go too far. overboard. It's almost like the money's burning your hands in December. You don't know what to do. So you just see a group of children. I give them like 1,000 and I can't buy knockouts and all the lights and fireworks, fireworks and everything. It's just everybody just wants to give. When we were growing up, we had uncles and aunts that would come to our house and then they come and they're leaving. You know, even if they don't, if they never gave you anything during the year. That Christmas, yeah, you are sure to special. make a lot of money. See, it's a special it's a period. season, yeah? Everybody yeah. just... But really, should we encourage that? Should people just let loose and forget it? Because reality always hits in January. January. Yo, you guys, that month of January always seems like it's <laughs> a... You know, like, like you haven't even earned any money in your... Sometimes it feels like that, you know? But, yeah, you need to think about the fact that... It's January, mm -hmm. you know, you need to pay school fees and all of that. Like Bubu said, be on a budget. Yeah, of course, everything you do usually. Sorry to sure, interrupt you, sure, we sure. have a call. <laughs> Hello, Kingston from Ikeja, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. 
How you ladies doing? Oh well. Good. Very well, thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas okay, in advance. You guys, you guys are looking <laughs> colorful and all Christmassy. Oh, thank, mm -hmm. you. thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to chip in a thing or two about what you guys are talking about. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, talking about um, spent spent and, and, the, and the festive, festive season. season. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. I have come to realize that uh, ladies are the ones with the itchy fingers. Really? They really want to buy this. They really want to buy that. You want the house to look like this because your in-laws are coming. I mean, you want to go here. You want to go there. And it's all very beautiful and nice. Uh -huh. But as a man, you ask one question. How much will it cost? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what every man always asks. How much will this thing cost? Oh, I want this table. Oh, I want that. Oh, I want... Uh, well, the table is very fine. Uh, that wall finishing oh. is very fine. Uh, but uh, how much is it? How much is it? Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, this festive season, yes, it, as much as it is good for people to celebrate, for people to, you know, uh, have the best things, but uh, we need to all still consider one thing. Mm -hmm. January will come. It will come. Oh. Yes. It will yes, come. Yes, and everybody will start saying, uh, the, the kids you. will come and say, Daddy, school fees. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. And before another salary will come, will be at the end of the month. It's always so long. Yeah, it so long. long it looks yeah. like one year. <laughs> In actual fact, it's just one month. Mm. After you have gone to the village and you have spent a mm. lot. As Thank you. Money. That's one. Thank you. But you then, know. sorry sorry to interrupt you. I want to ask you, you said the women um, do more of the spending. When you go to the village, of course, is it the mm. women that are spending the money? You know, the thing is that as a man, if you don't spend the money, it makes your wife look, look bad. Oh, so it's not just uh, us yes. now. <laughs> So you have to spend the money. If you don't spend it, the, the woman would say that uh, you are a very stingy person. <laughs> so, you know, to, to not be the stingy person, you want to please her. Oh. And uh, you buy this, you buy that, you make the house look Christmas Good. for Christmas. Yeah. Mm. And New Year Eve for New Year. New, uh, New Year Eve for <laughs> New Year. All yes, right. yes, yes, you yeah. know. Uh, so, uh, my advice to people now is that uh, for this festive season, yes, they sir. should try and have the reserve, reserve. Yeah. for January, because yeah, January right. is coming. Yes, it is and coming. And the, the reality coming. will set in, like, like my sister there just said. Mm. Reality will set in, and before yeah. you know what's going on, yeah. you know, I'm saying, uh, 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 my mind, Katie, can I have uh, one? <laughs> yes, right. Can I have, you know? Yeah, I totally so understand. So let us all just keep things small, small. Let's uh, let's have reserve for January. Let's yeah. save let's save water for the rainy day. Mm -hmm. Or, or how, how do they put it? You for the dry days. When it's uh, for the dry days. The, yes. <laughs> all right. Uh -huh. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you very all right. Much. All right. Thank Keep you watching. You guys, well done. Eh? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Wow. Yeah. I like what he said. You should have like reserve. Reserve. But uh, reserve if you have enough. Or if you had, like, um, let's say you have 100,000 when Christmas comes and then um, that's all you have. Now, your mom, your dad, you have to give them something for Christmas. You have to buy your kids clothes. Where do you get to? Those are the, for the you know what I think? Ones, In addition to what he has said, yeah. right? Fine, I know I said splurge and go all out. <laughs> but then you need to prioritize. A lot of people spend money on unnecessary things during Christmas. So what are the necessary things? Well, you know, it's an individual thing. I can't tell you what's necessary and what's not. Mm. It's an individual thing. I think just prioritize. There are some things you know are mo more important than others. Others can wait, really. Others you don't even need at all. You know, some women, I don't know, some women, they like to, you know, just go all out buy you know what you need what you don't need you just keep buying you just prioritize basically okay all right viewers you could still call in on the show please call in call in call in on zero eight zero nine one two 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 eight three zero eight zero nine one two 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 eight four zero eight zero nine one 
Do you know if it was a, if it was a test, you'd have failed. Girl. No you way. So failed. I was going to say ten. You were no, so lucky. Like, <laughs> yeah. But then we love our numbers. Anyway, so please, please call, calling. Yeah. Calling on the show and tweet at us at yeah. R two underscore TV. Don't forget to do the use the hashtag Inside, Inside Eve. Eve. And yes, on Facebook too. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash my R two TV. And of course, comment. Yeah, please do. Just <laughs> Women, call. Call. We need to we need to defend exactly. we need to defend what Kingsley things. said, right? Yeah, Kingsley Kingsley said that Kingsley said that um we are the ones spending spending all of the money. So we need to call in and tell them how the men hang out during Christmas. Yeah, when they hang out, you know, the women are usually not there, so they can go all out without their wives exactly. money during their spending. And so. then what we women do most times is dress the kids. For Christmas, the man is happy when he's going out with his kids. They have Everybody swag and, they, fine and, and they use it as DP. Who dresses the boy? <laughs> Who dresses the girl? Let's not even start that one. <laughs> and then the wife is cooking. She's buying the basic things to cook to host your friends that will come and say, "Ah, hey babe, what's up? You're looking good. My friend is taking care of you. Do you do you have more chicken there? You know, it's all for you in the end, right? Yeah, that's true. That's I don't know. True. It's all for them in the end. That's what I think. I'm not married. Ain't nobody <laughs> telling me to bring some chicken from the... Are you serious? <laughs> chicken for what? what? Not, okay, my brother do. <laughs> Your bro <laughs> my brother, but I'm not married, so there's nobody that his friends will come and say, hey, baby, my friend is taking care of you. Bring chicken from the... For what now? Let's well, until then. until then. Until then. <laughs> until then. I'm saving in my reservoir, like Mr. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's not only couples that, okay. that spend. Because we're, we're, we're limiting it only to just married yeah. you know, couples yeah. who spend. There yeah. are people who are um, in a relationship or they're single. Single. Who host, like, luxurious parties. Of course. Mm. When it's... When it's Christmas, like they host slam, or they just dunk, party. party, they just party and party. That people that just have it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's but, true. Please like, introduce me to them. I need to party. Me. But really? those kind, those kind of people, I do understand that you need to flex, <laughs> you need to have fun, but you need to have a budget because, honey, when January comes knocking. Just like game, it's a Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. It's <laughs> <laughs> will be so, <laughs> like, will you. Yeah. Like you wouldn't even know what. <laughs> and ladies and Ashwabi, we'll talk about this one. Is like a full show. It's going to be a full uh, show yeah, for Ashwabi matters. Yeah, it deserves a full show. Because we're not talking about just the festive Some seasons. Some women yeah. need to be delivered. From, from that the thing of Ashwabi. Oh, Lord Jesus. No, <laughs> anyway, ladies, you need to be delivered. We need to take a break now. Okay. Because we, we have okay. a very important POV point of view coming up hmm. after the break. Don't go anywhere. Stay yeah. with us. Pass your comments. We'll still read up, read up on it. See you after the break. Yes, people, you are welcome to the show. This is like, seriously? <laughs> I have something for you again. Whiskey has released a picture of himself and his son, Ayo Jr. Is it cute? That's not. When exactly did you start this? Week? I started dating at 11, yo. Oh, wow. Yeah. But now there's the question of 16 being the new 18. So the question now is when is the right age to? Oh, okay. Like seriously? But chill, you could check out my bars, the way I drop it. When I'm on the top, you know I'm never going to fall. Alright, I'm about to go in on the freestyle, because it's DT. On a flight back from ABJ okay. to Lagos, and uh, there's this girl I met like on the same flight. Okay. Disrespect to me as a good person, I'm like, this is cool. Okay. And my expression was very, you know, straight. Mm -hmm. Next night, I was going to turn to talk to her, and she just grabbed me and kissed me on the floor. <gasps> Never really understand an individual 
by looking at them from the outside to really understand why people speak the way they do, why they talk the way they do and act the way they do, you really need an inside perspective. Come on, my darling, can you tell us what's going on? Everything relationship-wise, mm -hmm. we are going to be trashing it. <laughs> We're going to trash it, trash it, trash it. Sure, yeah, man, on the like show. Really. Women are so busy, like from here to here. We actually call them the octopus mom. My name is Adere Sala. If it's a mouthful, you could call me Adere. We're talking to women. Woman to woman, real women to real women. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Bubba's the crazy one. Don't be deceived. I'm not she's crazy. Mm. She's yes. Hey guys welcome back to inside eve. eve oh my god if you are just joining us you have missed a lot and i'm very angry i'm not angry this is my angry phase guys no. okay, okay, so I'm, <laughs> okay so i'm not I'm, I'm not so pissed so but if you if you've just joined us don't worry Dara is going to bring you up to speed um so what we're going to be talking about is our pov which is our point of view now check this out guys so there's this lady, um, she says, she recently met this guy, so they've been dating for about six months now, and it looks like it's going to be getting really, really serious. But she's used to spending quite a lot. She's used to hosting um, luxurious parties during the Christmas. She calls it an all-white Christmas, so she likes oh, to, okay. to re-enact the, the whole snowy yeah. Christmas. I can <laughs> imagine her, her spe how, how, how much money she's going to be spending. Yeah. And then the guy is uncomfortable with the way she's spending lots and lots of money in regards to the party. And, you know, he just called her aside and said, listen, if we're going to continue this relationship, you really need to turn down on your spending. Now she's upset. She's like, should she continue in this relationship because she doesn't want anyone controlling her spending? She's fine. She, she has a good job. Yeah. She's, she's well. She can take care, she of, can take care of herself. herself yeah? So she's thinking, should I continue? Or what do you think? Turn down the spend or just... Forget about the guy. Oh. Guys, help mm. me out. Mm. <laughs> That's mm. a serious one. Yeah, yeah. So she's scared that, you know, the guy's going to tamper with her lifestyle a bit. More like control. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I think, you know, for such issues, they should meet each other halfway. Like, she needs to she probably cut down on the spending a bit, especially if she loves the guy. And if she wants a lasting relationship with this guy, yeah, she should tone it down a bit. But then they should come to an agreement, how much is too much, how much she can spend on the party. Obviously, the, guy, the girl likes to groove. <laughs> so just let her have fun, you know. But then, tone it down a bit. If you really love the guy and you want, even, you want to raise a family with him, it's going to be an issue. That It's a serious issue. Mm -hmm. It's going to pop up, keep popping up until, you know, you sort things out. Yeah, that's what, what I think. think. Yeah, I think in the end, we always talk about sacrifice she needs to make the sacrifice. However, she must be sure that that's like the only thing or like one of the little, little things she'll yeah. have to really sacrifice. Not like the guy's just gonna turn her life inside out just because. It's scary, we are not in her shoes. It's easy to see the flamboyant girl that needs to be tamed. She's too wild out there, but we really do not know how flamboyant she's been, how extravagant she's been over the years, or if it's just an average, you know, let's just get together, let's just be happy. I just want to spend 30K with my friends, and the guy's like, no, you're not spending anything. So we don't know how extreme the guy has been for her to have written, you know, well, spoken can, to someone. Can I say this? It is her money. So what's his problem? Really? No, no, that's, I'm just trying to be logical. Yes. It's yeah, her understand. money. He's not spending a dime. What's his problem? Don't forget that. We agree it's her money. Mm. But it's a lifestyle. And with okay. that kind of lifestyle, there are other strings attached to, you know, being that kind of person, having that kind of lifestyle. Okay. You know, I know that they are good people. I'm not saying she's a bad person, you know. Well, so the guy might be saying... Well, the Kingsley's calling again. Okay, I think he has something okay. to say to us. Hello, Kingsley. Good evening. Hello, good evening. 
evening. Good evening uh, again. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, I just heard the, the story that my sister <laughs> just, just told us just now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that uh, that woman that is do, always doing party. <laughs> Celebrating. Party, what kind of green? Is it black, green, or yellow party? Is it? White. Snow white. <laughs> white, white, Christmas a white Christmas party. Christmas party. Ha. That she would have to spend plenty money because her man said she should cut it down, and she said no. If, we, if, 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 if she will not cut it down, she will leave the guy. No, she. If she will not cut the <laughs> party down, I beg tell the bros to 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 carry waka. Huh. Yeah, because it is true. Because that kind of year, at the end of the day, she will she will run you into what Yoruba people call busy. No, but, but it's her money. It's her money. It's her money. So, it is her money. Yes. Yes. So about uh, the, the time where she not gonna get money. Ah well, then she's on her own. Like she's not spending the guy's money, right, Bubu? No, she's yeah. not. Hey, Tom. Okay. Now she can't say uh, she wants to do do party, uh, and this my brother here, so he he doesn't have that kind of money to do that kind of party, mm. and she says she wants to do her green party. Now, when they come and marry now, you will, she will want the brother to call to yeah. say, okay, bring it's money good. from your pocket yeah. to come and do party. And yeah. the brother does not have that kind of money. Mm. Yeah. Well, what I, I, want I, I think I get what he's saying. Mm -hmm. I, I get what you're a, saying. You're making a lot that, of sense. Make a lot of sense, yeah. The woman should cut down the party because at the end of the day, <laughs> it is plenty drink, plenty food, plenty everything. Wow. What thing has the party added to her life? Hmm. Can, I, can, Wait, I, can I sorry? Can okay. I ask you a question, Mr. Kingsley? Go ahead. What if the party she's doing? This is hypothetically, please. What if the party that she's hosting is for charity? Hmm. So she's feeding people, and she has to feed lots and lots of people. It's her money. What would you say? That one is a different thing. How is it different? It is party for charity for people who not get my Party is party. party. She's paying. She's paying. It's different. It's different. I agree with it, you, Mr. Kingsley. It, it is a different case entirely. Mm. That kind of party, if, they, if it is for charity, then she can start to get sponsorship from All uh, parties are for like, charity. Uh, organization or, 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 or. <laughs> people that need drinks. People will see that she's doing it good for the society. And uh, people will start to show interest. But even mm. And then uh, uh, MTN can say, okay, we want to do this. Uh, uh, that one can say, we want to do that. I totally yes. agree with you, Mr. Kingsley. Yes. Yeah, we're on the same page. Ah, me ah, not... Thank you very much. All, pa yeah. all, parties, are, all parties are charity. No. <laughs> I agree with you, Mr. Kingsley. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Keep thank watching. You. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I agree with him. Like you said, if what if it's for charity? That's a different cause. You're adding some. You're adding great I meaning like what to you other said, people. Course. It's for a, it's for a certain cause. So now, if you're doing an all-white party and you just want people to come and help you spend your money, no, that's not what I don't see parties as helping spend. you spend your money just you're like happy. that. It's the end you of just want to make people happy. Okay, money. pardon me, pardon me. I'm not one to always splurge, and I'm I'm just not that kind of person. It's not it's not but about then, the splurging. It's about you then, hanging out with your my, friends. That's my view. That's my view. Of, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. If it's a, if it's something for charity, it's different. It's completely different. I think you're putting smiles on people's face, people that really need it. You're still putting smiles on other people's faces. Of course, but it's now charity. it's a different case. It's a different case now. These people really need it. It's charity. They probably okay. have no food to eat that day. You're making your friends happy. See, sometimes we I'm assume. Saying... Sometimes we assume that because someone is not wearing tattered clothes, that they are a happy and high. And no, no. You, um, you listen, see, please somebody listen to me, just Darren. needs it. Terry, listen to me. Fine, they're your friends. You're making them happy. You guys are having a nice time. I'm not arguing with that fact. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the only difference between that, having an all-white Christmas party and having a charity party, is you the fact that, like that you are, you are, you are yeah. going to have an all-white Christmas party. It's in the fact house. that in the case of in the charity house. party, <laughs> you're adding more value to people, other people's lives, people that really genuinely need it. You're feeding them. You're giving them something to drink on that day. You're making them feel special. I'm not saying you're not making your friends feel, feel special, by the way, because I know you're going to attack me from that point. <laughs> okay, can I, can I quickly say this? <laughs> what, what I'm going to ask is, in, okay, we talked about whether it's charity or not. Should, now, she's saying, should she leave the guy? Because, you see, there's some people that this is their lifestyle, for God's sake. No, of course. This is who they are. They like to mm -hmm. spend. They like to... They just... This, they have I money. I completely agree with you. Bobo. So she's saying... I don't want any man to control my life. Guys, what do you think? Should I listen to him 
or continue my lifestyle and look for a man who would appreciate my lifestyle or who's I, on the same I page? I think I answered that question a few minutes ago. If it's a relationship she wants to continue with, in all relationships, I'm sure there you guys have experienced it. Make, like yeah. Darren said, there are sacrifices you make. You have to drop a few things, pick up a few things. You have to unlearn some of the things that you grew up with. It's difficult, but then you have to do it for the sake of, you know, yes. peace and for the sake of having a happy relationship. Yes. Yes. So. If it's something, she, if it's a relationship she wants to continue with long term, she yeah. wants to get married to him eventually, then they have to come to a compromise. What do you think True that? Um, okay, there's something on social media here, but then before, <clears throat> excuse me, before I read that, I, I, I totally agree with the whole sacrifice thing. Um, the truth is Christmas is, the fact that it's um, close to the beginning of another year, we are rounding off the year, it makes it more, you know, we have other um, festive seasons in between in the year, between. but none is really on, I, I don't know, none is as celebrated yeah. as this. So I think it's just the whole hype of Christmas that's getting to this person. I think she just needs to chill a bit. It's her money, we know, but the man may feel threatened if she does not, if she does not submit at this level. Eventually, he might be able to allow her to like do something, yeah. maybe not as loud mm -hmm. as before, but then she needs to understand that, okay, fine, this is going to be the head of my house eventually if you're going to take a step further. And I might, you might have to prove to him, yeah. not prove, but show him at least that you could listen to him. And it's understand where he's coming from. Let me chip something in quickly. Fine, while they're dating, it's her money. When they get married, it's, um, it's supposed to be... <clears throat> Okay, because of the, because of your attitude, daring, it's supposed to be our, our money. money. And money then you guys plan together. Anyway, it's on social media. We have a call already. Hello, Lucia. It's like, sorry, boo boo. Okay. Hello, Lucia. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening. Hello, yeah, Lucia. Thank How you for you calling in. Oh, well, well. great. Hello. Thanks. How is boo boo? She's fine, she's always <laughs> right there. Yeah. Hi, hello. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I would like to contribute uh, to what you are talking about this evening. Okay. okay. Uh, first things first, you have to probably talk about what is necessary and what is not necessary. Okay. And yeah, like, women love to spend. I mean, when you have it, you, you flaunt it basically. Wow. But, you know, you can you can always cut down on it if you have a good uh, planning uh, scheme. Yeah. Okay. Uh, exactly. Okay. Uh, so if you are with a good man or otherwise a good woman, mm. uh, you guys can be transparent enough. You know, different mm -hmm. there. What do we need? Okay. What is uh, excess? And you know, you, you have a, a, a realistic plan about your expenditure. Okay. And I think that's. That's about it, basically. It's just about planning. Cool. Yeah. planning. But oh. There are some basic things that you still need to spend money on. You can't cut them off. Like? <laughs> a Christmas meal. Well, okay. <laughs> Women love bags and shoes. Ah, oh, he's so <laughs> sweet. Honestly, he's just a sweet human being. That's okay. very thoughtful of Honestly. you. Honestly. What, like, what kind of bags? Uh, okay. My wife loves bags and shoes. I used to bribe out with it. So bribe. Nice that's like a necessary thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, thank you so thank much for you. calling in. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, well, I, I, I like it. I thought I was going to say bag of rice. No, <laughs> but of course, thing. like I said, you know, some things are really important. Mm. Others are totally useless. There's no need spending money on ah, them. Don't say that too. No, but it's true. I think it depends. It, it, it differs depends. from person to exactly. person. I can't tell you what's important. Like he, what's important to and him, okay. his wife likes... Shoes, Shoes and, bags, and bags. So he would like to give her that. And make her happy. And make her happy. You see, that That's is not charity, but he's making her happy. Of course. Both ways, you're making someone happy. I didn't, <laughs> I, I, I didn't contend with you. Well, after the show, I'll put you in a room. Both of you. We'll trash, out, we'll trash it. <laughs> trash it. Daring. Trash it. <laughs> well, can I quickly just say this? You know, this got me thinking. Okay. And when we're talking about um, the woman, it's the woman's money. And, you know, she has to spend it herself. And blah, de, blah, de, blah. Now... I have a friend who recently just got a, a very good car, a 2014 um, Hyundai product. I, I don't really know yeah. which of them, but it cost about 4.3 million, thereabouts. Oof, that's some money. And she's single. Now, um, before she got that car, 
a lot of she was like, oh, a lot of people were saying, oh, you're still single. Why would you get that kind of cast of yourself? You know, you're gonna drive men away. And bloody and blah. bloody. And I was just like, listen, this is my Christmas gift <laughs> to myself. Yeah. Exactly. Spoil yeah. herself a do you, bit. Do you think she went overboard no. doing that for herself? No, what definitely you not. Obviously, she must have put in a lot of hard work during the year. Yes. There's nothing wrong with rewarding yourself. There's absolutely nothing wrong. <laughs> when you've met, you set goals, you achieve them. Go, just spoil yourself. Sorry, love. Let it's... me take this from Facebook. <laughs> oh, look, baby girl, Gunlela says, L-O-V-E equals lashing out vehemently on extravagance. It works. That's the solution to spending anyhow. Lashing out vehemently mm -hmm. on extravagance do you get like <laughs> what don't spend extra... my money <laughs> <laughs> no, christmas <laughs> but okay we're going to lash out at extravagance itself yeah. don't how do you lash out extravagance don't make me spend you okay moving on so i said <laughs> I just, I just, okay you just, I just did, did it that. baby lash out again <laughs> don't spend my money <laughs> <laughs> i think that's it don't spend don't spend don't it's not Lash your money, out. it's our money. Don't, no, at that time, darling, it's not our money. Yeah. It is my yeah, true that. <laughs> it when is you're still my single, money. Yeah, that's true. It's that's my true. money. That's true. All right. So sorry. I think you were saying something before I caught you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you always forget. Are you okay? Because I have that train of thought. And when, once it gets interrupted, Darian, please take notes. I'm you sorry. Never interrupt I would never time. interrupt. You just said that it's <laughs> yeah. good that she can treat herself. Of course. So I totally agree with that. You've worked so hard. It's the end of the year. Spoil yourself. Kudos to that chick. I like. Mm, this girl too spoiling herself. You don't know if she's been saving up since the beginning of the year. Every month she'll but save now up. But it's 20, not just about bar. her. It's about her and her boyfriend. Okay. If it was all about her, fine, go ahead. Do the party right. and okay. have a ball. <laughs> you know? Okay. There was this story. Uh, well, it's not a story. I, I recently watched it. It's in regards to gifts as well. Okay. You know, it's in regards to how much gifts can you give? Can you, give? you know that sometimes when, sometimes you are forced to give gifts because you don't want to, you don't want to displease people. Mm. Does that happen to you? Like, no. Okay, maybe not you, but there are people who <laughs> um, service people sometimes. Exactly. People that come to clean your so, house. No, 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 not no. Okay, I'm, you're talking friends, about. Okay. Friends. You, you overshoot your budget because. I want to please this person. I don't want them to be upset with me because I didn't get, the, get them any gift. Now, talking about gifts, there's this girl. She was born on the 26th of December. Mm. <laughs> but what happens is uh, her other siblings are born on other, yeah. other, other okay. months. Yeah. So, of course, the siblings, they get their, their presents on their birthdays, and then they have another separate present on... On, oh. on Christmas Day. But oh. of course. But she, but she, what happens on Christmas Day? She gets a gift. But of course, Just I have one. a friend like Just that. One. And she's always and she's, upset. And she's, yeah. So. But of course, it only makes sense that you get one gift. But what? then, when you, when you, no, no, you guys listen to me. Let me land. <laughs> Barry, land. take that smirk off your face. <laughs> Let me land. <laughs> I understand if her siblings would want to give her one gift, right? Mm -hmm. But then it's two different occasions. It's her birthday and then it's Christmas. And she obviously feels cheated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if the, if the siblings have and her friends, if they have enough money, go ahead, buy her two gifts. But I have a friend like that. She always gets anyway. more gifts. <laughs> and she's always upset. I, I have a lot of um, Valentine babies too. They're like, on, their boyfriends are like, yippee, once a year and we're done. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> Max, give two cakes. Happy birthday, happy Valentine. Hmm. What's I don't know. Anyway, guys, embarrassing moments okay, coming, coming up. up. <laughs> we just take a break. <laughs> embarrassing moments. Buy two gifts. Don't be serious. 25 embarrassing or 26. Moments. Like, seriously, we'll see you after the break. <laughs> hey, guys. Yes. Welcome to another exciting episode of R2 Buzz. R2 Buzz Fifth Countdown Show. I'm your main guy, Elo with the flow. You know how we do it. And I am with the flow. <laughs> See, I do. The Rising Buzz, where we bring to you an artist who's making waves in the Nigerian industry. Fresh from my hair to my shoes, swag. Oh, that was just tight, it's just tight. I bring her on our bus, Pearly's chasing her life. Oh, 
Should I go now? Yummy. No, 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 wait, no. no. Chill, chill. So we have the rising buzz, we have the weekly buzz, we have the exclusive buzz here on R2T. So what is love? Love is different to different people. But to me, love is everything. Love is kind, love is patient, love knows no wrong, love is beautiful. And yes, I Bobo, I'm in love. I am a firm believer of love. With love comes trust. So if you want to be in love, better trust. Love is our, love is real, love is our to TV. Welcome back guys to Inside Eve. Like I said, if you're just joining us now, you have missed a lot. Uh -huh. You've missed our point of view. You've missed our WhatsApp. You've mi you've Why would should, you miss so I, much? Am I, am I supposed Seriously. to... Uh, I'll calm down for you because I love you. <laughs> so, yeah. But don't worry, Darren will bring you up to speed. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So right now, we're going to be talking about our embarrassing oh. moment. About oh. your embarrassing moment. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> you too, honey. <laughs> no, no, I think somebody me. exhausted has already. <laughs> we're going to talk about our ouch moments, our awkward moments, those moments you don't want to share with anybody but us. Mr. Kingsley, I'm looking forward to hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking exactly forward to hearing. Right. Yeah. You need to call and tell us one, at least, at no, least. two embarrassing moments. <laughs> moment. Okay, just before we proceed, I'm just going to read this. This is from Kende from um, Abuja. Okay. <laughs> he says that he was recently in the gym and he was on a treadmill and he saw this fine, fine, he said sister, but Sister, I said, he said, he saw this fine sister, fine girl walking past and he was looking and he, and he was t having a sip of, he was, he was drinking, let me just put it that way, he was drinking water from his water bottle and as he was looking at her, he tripped and fell. She turned back and then he went into push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. I like that recovery, brother. That's like, a nice way to cover do up. Do you know what that is? Like, <laughs> <laughs> because she turned. I mean, you are a you nice are, one. That, that's, yeah. that's a nice one. That's a nice, nice way one. to recover from an embarrassing oh, moment. That, that is. I don't that know what to word. say to you, but you're a pro. Well, that guy is a pro. He's a player. He is a player. A nice you're a player. Like. He's blessed with skills like, like that. I like, I okay, like. so I've said one. You say another one. Which one? <laughs> An embarrassing moment now. Okay. I've got this one, actually, from Adele here, Thompson. He says, check this out. A man bumps into his father-in-law at a strip club. Oh, no. What? <laughs> mm -mm. Like father, mm. like son. Do, do, do you know? Do you know? I can't even begin to think what the fa what the father in law will like. Hello, son. Yeah. How are you? How are you? <laughs> that's but really then, awkward. The father in law is the father in law, man. Forget it. That's really that's so that really means awkward. This is what you're doing to my daughter. Exactly. And this is what you're doing to my mother in law. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, what's your what's your own with your mother? It's really it's it's, it's really not. No, no, no. I think it's worse on the guy. On the guy, like the father in law can. Uh, uh, they've uh, like they've grooved way past. Even and, if it's not. You don't have a right over my wife being your mother-in-law. But then this is my daughter, that you're... Of course. Okay, it's, so guys, yeah. are you saying that the father-in-law is the right? I mean, just say right? I came to do marketing <laughs> to the what manager of this place. What kind of marketing uh, in a strip club? Yes, I asked me to wait. He asked me to wait outside, of so course. I was just chilling. Of course. Okay, <laughs> I have this one from Soji. Okay. And it's from Akura. He says... Sorry. Glasses time. Honestly. <laughs> I can't see this, honestly. But then I read one. I'm going to see this, but I can't anyway, see this. Anyway, okay, I'll just, I'll just tell you about one. My friend um, went abroad and he had one too many drinks. And yeah. He got drunk and he slept off on his friend's couch, or so he thought. He woke up the next morning, someone tapped him and he woke up and he thought it was maybe his friend's mom or something. And guess what? He was in front of a mall. He was naked. What? In a mall. In front of a mall. 
in front of a mall. In the morning. In the morning. He slept all night. No, that is, no, and it was know, naked. No way. That guy was proper stone. That was like, like ouch. Was, oh, no, no that is, man. Do you know what? That is more than his ouch. Yes. That's a ouch. Talking man. about drinking and Christmas, guys. Easy Calm the down and then yeah, don't drink and drive. Go Get easy. a designated yeah. driver. Drink it. January is they always remember. January no, 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 is not, Just not take it easy. Them. Take I'm it like, easy. They can feel the sarcasm in my voice. Drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can see I can see this though. So Soji <laughs> says, when I was 18 years old, I can remember this vividly. Hmm. My dad came into my room and my mom came in with him with a pair of porn magazines. Uh-oh. And my mother started yelling, Soji, so you're, so, you're watch, so, you're, so you're reading porn now? And he goes, Mom, they're not my magazine. The father says, this is on there, your magazine. <laughs> when the mother left, the father said, please don't cover up their mind. Wow! Ouch. What? Like, seriously? No, what man. would you do? I'll probably storm out what? of the room. I'll be like, Mommy, and then he comes Hell back no. up. What? You will stomach. out. It's not like oh, you're going well. to your mom, but then you need no. to, you need to uh, uh, make a deal for yourself. Cut a deal for yourself. Are you of course, yes. With a Nigerian dad. Are you mad? No, but on this P, you need to. Uh, you need to. You need he to. He needs you. you. Do. Okay, so what are you going to do? No, Darren, if it was you, what will you do? I'm like, and you made mommy embarrass me. And you just uh, walk out. You won't walk too fast. Depends on, you know, it depends depends on the relationship you have with your dad. And then you're going, 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 and he's like, come, 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 come back here. Okay, what do you want? This is daddy that knows how to tell you what you want. see what you mean, no you way. sneaky, sneaky. Daddy, that can't happen. Especially when it's Christmas, you say daddy, that's your car outside. I won't take it. You have a point, Derry. He would. It depends on your relationship with your dad. No, but here, it's obvious your daddy needs you to cover up. So it's obvious your dad doesn't want your mom to That's if you don't have that kind of dad that will slap you with both hands. Hey, let him slap me. My mouth is still there. I'll go and tell his wife. Why is it there is up? for you to oh, say? No, but seriously, if he if he's so scared of my mom, he's trying to what? cover up. I need to take advantage of it. Why would you mess me up like that? Darren. Don't even go there. <laughs> it's true now. Ah. Okay, so I have this awkward moment. You know, okay, so it's an awkward moment. I don't know if it's happened yeah. to some some people. You know, there are times that you've gone into a room, you've walked into a room, mm -hmm. and it's it has a funny smell so it has a very foul smell yeah. and then someone comes in maybe you've been in that room someone comes in and does and the person looks at you like what oh, did you just yeah, do no i know and you're watching <laughs> hello yeah, I, know. I didn't I know. do anything has it happened to you yes like, it's pretty it awkward yeah me, i know i totally understand you never i don't have you. awkward moments like that i'll she you <laughs> 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 i'm joking no, but like, guys. seriously I, I totally i totally feel what you, you just said yeah. like it happens sometimes like it's um the place is smelling like bad feet smelly feet kind of and then maybe your shoes are off. Or, and or just like a combination you. of everybody's, you know, scent oh, or Lord. smell or, and it's not well air conditioned, right? And then, no, no, it's like, okay, you, you come into a place, there's nobody there, it's just you. And then the place was thinking already well, before you got there. You're number one, so you're the number one suspect. And then someone else comes in and the person is looking Why at you I'm like, number one I'm not saying you, boo boo. I'm just doesn't referring smell. to that I person. Don't think it, darling. I'm just saying that person, whoever you are in the room, <laughs> you're the number one she suspect. Just too much she, does, she doesn't smell. <laughs> after the show, after anyway, the show, just remind me perfume for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me share this one with you guys no. quickly. It's from Stephanie, a day filler. She says, this a one time, filler. I was walking on the street, feeling like a diva, all well dressed, feeling she all feel fly. Like and then... This is your story. I, she says, you guys, wait, you guys wait for Honestly. it. You guys wait for we it. Will. A group of children took a liking to me, and they followed me, chanting and clapping their hands. Why? What? <laughs> Oh, what were they saying? They were singing. <laughs> I, I can't, whatever they were singing. That has happened to me once, you guys. Girls. That wasn't me, but it's mm. happened to me once. I went out with my friends who were, that was way back. Feeling awful, I think I wore white, you know, I was just feeling cool with myself. A group of children, school children. Are you serious? You know, these public schools, they were, they were just like, clapping like, hey. And you guess what I did? I clapped with them. I was like, ah, hey, yes, yes, let's do it together. Yay. Excuse me, like, no, no, friends. <laughs> like, seriously, man. Or oh, um, this Pied Piper, what's the other thing? Like, that you are playing this thing, and yeah. all the children are 
What else you. would you do in that situation? Like seriously, you know, like we always say, turn around your embarrassing moments to just to joy. That's what I did. Like seriously, to a lot of joy. That's if the guy you were scoping was not uh, to a lot of joy. around the corner. <laughs> anyway, we need to run up the show right <laughs> now. Wow! If you haven't, if you did not watch from the beginning, there's a repeat tomorrow, and of course, you need to join us on Wednesday. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Yeah. Nigerian time. <laughs> you need to be in on Inside Eve every, every, yeah, every sure week. Every week. Final words, babes. Hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> but what's your final word? Ah. <laughs> My final <laughs> word basically is this. Now, if you want to spend, well, that's really on you, right? But in 10 years from now, <laughs> your yeah. kids probably might be starving. I don't pray for that to happen. But keep your, keep your spending in check because in the long, you know, 10 years from here, like I said, it'll be, they'll be eating Gary. Is it, is it Gary? Gary? Or, or pizza. They'll be sucking Gary. Not you, pizza. Pizza is expensive. What's pizza? No, it's, it's, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is you're going to make them choose between pizza and Gary, like your yeah, choice. Yeah, now, yeah, like, is yeah, that, is yeah, that what yeah. you're saying? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, so... Mm -hmm. Hey, cut, cut, wait, cut. Wait, 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 wait. My final words for today. Oh, no, you went, oh sorry, sorry. Excuse <laughs> you. How can you not notice my presence? Uh, and that was so easy to notice. Okay, here are my final words, right? Live your life as simple as possible. Funny enough, that simplicity might be, you know, going all out and having a ball. It might be nothing to you. But just, you know, live your life as simple as possible. Yeah, those are my final words. All right. I don't have final, okay, I do have final <laughs> words. <laughs> My final words, live your life, be happy, do not spend too much. You need to plan, you need to make yeah. things happen. January is coming, like I always say. Winter <laughs> is coming. I like that. Winter Win is coming. January is Winter coming. Winter is coming. January. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, join us on Facebook, on Twitter. Facebook.com forward slash my R2 TV on Twitter at R2 underscore TV. Don't forget to talk about the spendthrift culture yeah. and the festive season. Oh. My name is Adderi Sola. I'll see you next. Merry Christmas in Wednesday. advance. Merry Christmas. I'll buy something for Inside <laughs> Eve. Yeah. Well, look for us. Yeah, right. Just look for us. Don't listen to A number. Me. Okay, I, I was going to give them the address. No, just enough. <laughs> yeah, right, guys. Follow us on Twitter. We'll hook up with you. Exactly. <laughs> and we may just have Bye. gifts for you. From Adairi Sola, see you on Wednesday. And from Fuma. Bye. Bye. From Fuma, my love. <laughs> see you on Wednesday. It's tonight. Keep it up.